From the real-life basilisk seen in Harry Potter, to a prehistoric fish that lived with the dinosaurs thought to be extinct for 400 million years, here are 10 of the wildest and scariest sea monsters. Number 10. Real-life basilisk There was once a horrifying sea monster skulking through the world's oceans like a real-life basilisk. Its name is Pluridens serpentis, and it was the type of mosasaur that scientists agree hunted like a giant snake. The fossils of this ancient monster have been found primarily in Morocco. There have been at least 40 species of mosasaur found to date, making them some of the most prolific underwater hunters in the dinosaur world. They became dominant predators after the mass extinction during the middle of the Cretaceous period and then began changing and evolving into many different species over the next 25 million years. Of course, that was until a large rock fell out of the sky 66 million years ago and ruined everything. According to Nick Longrek, a paleontologist who's obsessed with mosasaurs, these creatures were just beginning to hit their stride when they were wiped off the face of the earth. But how did these real-world basilisks hunt? They stalked their prey through the darkness of the ocean, with some of them evolving flippers, others having tails, and almost all of them slithering around like giant snakes. Some could grow to at least 27 feet, over 8 metres long. They had teeth like razors for killing fish and giant squid. The only difference between the Mosasaur and the deadly basilisk from Harry Potter is that the Mosasaur wasn't toxic. Number 9. Alaskan Dragon In Alaska, tourists filmed what can only be described as a horrifying dragon. The video footage clearly showed some kind of monster swimming underwater near a collapsed glacier with seven sharp black fins poking out from the surface. It looked as though the strange dragon was covered in dinosaur-like spikes. It surfaced just enough for the shape of it to be seen in the video clip before vanishing underwater and not resurfacing. So far, nobody can explain what the tourists saw. It appeared to be massive, maybe upwards of 20 feet or 6 meters in length. Some have speculated that the creature woke up when the nearby glacier began to crash into the ocean. It could be that it was slumbering deep in a hidden lair under the ice and was woken up by all the commotion. Of course, there are some who claim the video to be fake, but that honestly doesn't seem to be the case this time. And while it might not be an ancient sea dragon in the end, there's no doubt that it is some kind of freakish creature nobody has been able to identify. And to make matters even more mysterious, this was not the first time that an unidentified creature has been filmed swimming around in Antarctic waters. Number 8. Kraken Lair New evidence has shed some light on an ancient monster so scary that if it was real today, nobody would dare enter the water. I'm talking about a literal kraken, which is so huge and terrifying that it would make any modern sea creature look like a shrimp. Back during the Triassic period, there was a sea monster known as the Ichthyosaur, it was larger than multiple school buses and was at the top of the food chain. Picture the Loch Ness Monster on steroids. However, Mark McMenamum from the Mount Holyoke College recently investigated the fossilised remains of an ichthyosaur and concluded that there was likely an even larger, more dangerous and far more fearsome sea beast prowling the waters at the same time. Evidence of this monster came from the Berlin Ichthyosaur State Park in Nevada. Mark found the remains of nine ichthyosaurs, each of them measuring around 45 feet or 13 metres long. But he also found that the place where all the bones were piled up was once part of an environment deep underwater. The way the carcasses were arranged suggests that Nevada, or at least this park in Nevada, was once the lair of a huge and impossibly megalithic creature that was feasting on what until now researchers had thought was the biggest and meanest sea monster of the day. The new, unnamed sea monster has never been discovered. Its bones have never been found. But of course, that doesn't mean it didn't exist. Judging by the way the ichthyosaur bones were arranged, the behaviour suggests an octopus so large that we can't even fathom it. The way in which the bones of the dead ichthyosaurs were broken indicate that whatever octopus-like creature killed them was so big it could literally snap their necks like twigs. Number 7. Frog-faced turtles Millions of years ago, our planet had some very strange turtles. They're called quick-mouth frog turtles, and although they weren't as terrifying as an octopus that was potentially more than 50 feet or 15 metres long, they were still pretty tough creatures for their day. The remains of these fearsome turtles were discovered by paleontologists in Madagascar. They date back to the Cretaceous period, about 100 million years ago. 
The turtles had faces like frogs and feasted on unsuspecting prey by slurping up mouthfuls of water and then swallowing whatever poor animals got caught in their hungry moors. What's truly fascinating about this turtle monster is that it was endemic to Madagascar. Even a hundred million years ago, Madagascar was still an isolated region of the world with its very own fascinating animals. Researchers only found the remains of this turtle because they were looking for dinosaur and crocodile fossils. According to Walter Joyce, a paleontologist involved with the dig, the specimen they found is one of the best preserved turtles from the late Cretaceous. However, they don't know when the turtle evolved, how it evolved, or why it even went extinct. They believe it probably survived the extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs, so something else must have taken these guys out. But what? What do you think made the frog-faced turtles go extinct? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 6. Dinosaur Fish In 2021, a dinosaur was found swimming off the coast of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. It was found by shark hunters using gill nets to try and rip sharks out from the deep waters. Instead of sharks, they turned up a living fossil previously thought to be extinct. The fish they pulled up was a monstrous coelacanth a real-life sea monster that has been around for over 420 million years. These fish are incredibly strange. They have eight fins in total, four of which act like limbs and almost look like fish-styled arms and legs. As you might already know, coelacanths were presumed extinct until one was discovered in 1938. But since then, not very many more have been found, making this an exceptionally rare discovery. The coelacanth is one of the biggest bony fish on the planet and can weigh over 200 pounds or 90 kilos while reaching lengths of up to 7 feet or 2.1 meters. According to a new study published in the South African Journal of Science, gillnet fishing could very well be impacting how many of these legendary fish are left. This is because gillnets basically scoop up everything in their path as they are dragged through the deep ocean at depths of up to 1600 feet or 500 meters. It is now believed that Madagascar is the only place left on Earth where coelacanths gather in mass. And even though we normally have a predisposition to killing monsters that we find, there are some groups striving to save the coelacanth. I mean, after all, it has been alive on our planet since before the dinosaurs were even around. Number 5. Killer Babies Some of the first sea monsters to appear on our planet did so 500 million years ago. These were some of the earliest predators in the ocean and some of the largest animals living at the time. The sea monsters I'm talking about belong to a rather creepy group of animals known as arthropoda. Today, this group consists of spiders and crustaceans such as crabs and lobsters. But between 500 million years ago and now, a lot has changed. A new fossil study led by expert archaeologists from the Northwest University of Xi'an in China has proved that not only were fully developed arthropoda adults proficient killers, so too were the tiny babies that came out of them. These are the oldest and arguably the most primitive arthropods that ever lived, belonging to a group known as the Radiodonta. They were armed with strange grasping appendages sticking out from the top of their head, as well as a mouth like a disc with savage toothy serrations used for grinding up prey. At the time they were alive, they would have been giant apex predators reaching outstanding lengths of over three feet or almost a metre long. Keep in mind, this was during the early Cambrian era, when things weren't quite so large as they were later on. Back to the new fossil study. Archaeologists found that juveniles were only 0.7 inches long at birth. However, they were born pretty much already developed, with a circular mouth full of horrifying teeth and spiky tentacle-like appendages with thorns that they could immediately use to begin feasting on other creatures. Number 4. Beautiful Killer a small and not so terrifying sea monster depicted as being the most beautiful killer in the ocean was recently discovered washed up on a beach in Africa. At first glance, it doesn't look like much. The killer animal really just looks like a gelatinous, dazzling blue dragon, no larger than a shrimp. And yet this seemingly innocent creature can kill with a single touch. The monster is known scientifically as Glaucus Atlanticus. It's actually a type of sea slug known to feed on other deadly marine animals, such as the Portuguese man of war. When it eats other venomous critters, the blue dragon absorbs their toxic cells and then stores them inside its own body, allowing it to deliver a sting that is even more venomous than what it eats. If you were to touch the Glaucus Atlanticus, even with just one finger, you could immediately begin suffering from nausea, severe pain, uncontrollable vomiting, and even death. As for the woman who found the creature washed up on the beach, she was extremely lucky. Instinct told her not to touch, and this ended up saving her life. 
But not everyone ends up so lucky. Because they are so small, only about an inch long, they can be difficult to spot on white sand. Someone who mistakes the creature for a starfish and picks it up could end up taking a one-way trip to the hospital. Number three, the black swallower. The black swallower is one of the ugliest fish in the ocean. It also has a very peculiar way of eating. At less than four inches or 10 centimeters in length, it has the uncanny ability to gobble up fish bigger than itself. It's known for eating fish over two times its length and up to 10 times its own body mass. The black swallower has been compared to the boa constrictor because it swallows its prey whole and doesn't leave any leftovers. It would be as if you opened your mouth and swallowed a person 12 feet or three and a half meters tall in a single bite. Believe it or not, the black swallower is actually quite common in North America. The only thing is that they live at 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters beneath the surface of the water. Down at these extreme depths, it really is an eat or be eaten kind of world. The black swallower has no scales, it has an unusually long head, and the strangest thing about it is that it has a stomach far larger than any normal fish, which it uses when eating prey much larger than itself. It also has sharp rows of teeth to grab hold of prey. Once the prey is trapped, it moves its jaw up and down until the animal is in its stomach. Number two, sea monster versus seal. One of the deadliest animals in the ocean is an ordinary humpback whale. These creatures are magnificent. They dive deep into the ocean and they can grow over 60 feet or 18 meters in length. The size alone makes it a devastating animal. They weigh over four tons or three and a half thousand kilos and can be wildly unpredictable. Recent footage popped up online showing a monstrous humpback whale coming up underneath the defenseless seal off the coast of Mexico. In the footage, the seal can be seen swimming casually along the surface of some calm blue water. Then a humpback whale comes out of nowhere, rears out of the water so that the seal gets caught on its back and the seal is forced to surf on the back of the whale for dear life before the monster submerges again, leaving the seal confused by what in the world just happened. Truth be told, the huge whale probably didn't even know the seal was there. That's how big and intimidating these things are. Number one, Viper Dogfish Shark. Off the coast of Taiwan, scientists recently captured some of the most horrendous fish anywhere in the ocean. Scientists pulled a small group of viper dogfish sharks out of the water during a survey. What they saw was nothing short of terrifying. These sharks are very strange to look at. They have glowing bellies, eyes like glass, and teeth like needles sticking out of their protruding jaw. The shark isn't that big, but it literally glows and has jagged teeth like an ocean wolf. It lives very close to the bottom of the ocean and feeds primarily on crustaceans. There have been almost no sightings of this scary species, which makes the four hauled up off the coast of Taiwan quite special. While there may not be very many of them left in the ocean, nobody actually knows how many there are. So they aren't classified as endangered. Instead, they are listed as data deficient. Even though we don't know much about these sharks, they have been compared to goblin sharks because of how menacing they are. Some of the scientists believe they're closely related to ninja sharks, which are also known for glowing. Thanks for watching. How do you feel about swimming in the sea knowing these monsters are waiting for you? Let me know in the comments and if you want more content, don't forget to subscribe.